First name Julie Scoble, and I am the Youth Services Project Coordinator. It's the Elder Youth Mentorship Program. It um, is designed to have kids in care come back into community and build some healthy relationships with elders in their community. And it's it's nice, you know, to see everybody get so involved in these programs. It's really it's pretty great. Yeah. So we do, it. well, we have one here and we have one in Burns Lake as well. And in Burns Lake we do language, we do different games like Lahal. We, you know, they, they learn about um, the potlatch system. They learn about regalia. So, and that's pretty cool because when they get to see the elders come and dance in and, and the whole thing, it's kind of a, it's a pretty cool thing. The kids get a lot out of it and I think the elders get a lot out of it. I mean, it's... You know, we just say, hey, what do you want to do? And they're like, oh, well, so like in August, we're going to fish camp. And that's one of the elders in LBN. He said, you know, let's do this. Let's do that. And, and everybody gets on board and they just sort of take over. And, and, and these things happen really organically. Like we were, how we ended up beating was we decided we'd start a beating project. So we were at the, the band office and somebody said they have a beating group at the center over there. We're like hey so we packed up all our stuff and we crashed their party and they're like yeah come on in you know they like any any sort of thing where they're where their hands on doing something it's the best you know if you build healthy relationships if you ever have a have a problem or trouble or whatever you know people you know people that that care about you yeah my english name is barbie scaling and i have a traditional name it's a yahali I am of the Kitsano Tugda Nation from Morristown, BC. I, I just, I just love this. Just coming to the communities and working with the elders, and getting to to know a lot of the community members. First of all, we put a call out and to see who is interested. Mm -hmm. The biggest initiative here is to bring the children in care, um, whether they're in Prince George or in Vanderhoof or in Burns Lake. And we bring these kids home and they meet up with the elders. And the awesome part is the elders decide what they want to offer the young ones that we bring home. The first event we had introductions and we had a luncheon and the elders wanted the kids to see what's in their community. So we had a community tour. They shared stories about the, um, the veterans that came home and then we went to the graveyard and they told stories, the church, health center, the fire, play, the fire hall. The kids got to know where they come from. We bond each time we come. Um, I think the fun part is where um, we all get together and eat and we have circles and they hear stories from our elders. And it's hard, one of the elders was telling me, um, this is the hardest part is then we have to leave them and then they have to go away. You get attached to them is what she told me. She says, I get attached to these kids. Today, um, one of the many activities is we're doing um, beading. And I love it because it just brings me back to my childhood because it was something that was, comes to us naturally, sitting with our grandparents. And this is where they tell us stories. That's the best part is sitting down and, and they just talk and tell stories. Last weekend, I, I did a, a cultural activity with a connection camp and, and all of our little ones did. They picked up their clan crest. It was already cut out and they used glue and they put it on a little makeshift blanket, button blanket, and they put, they put uh, a sequins on it. They put pearls or whatever beads they can find and they decorate their little blanket. And you could just see the kids there. They're just so happy. They're so proud. 